It's Lee. Oh my goodness. That's a little bright. Hang on one second. There we go. Oh my, wow. I was worried that it wasn't going to be bright enough, and boy, it's really too bright. There we go. That's better. Hey, so uh, we're about three weeks from this election, okay? And I've been saying it, retweet this, retweet this. And especially if you agree with me, retweet this. I'm going to piss some people off. I don't care. We're about three weeks from the most important election of our life. I'm going to say something I've been saying for a month, and I'm going to name some names. And these are people who I like, but you got to hear it. Stop with the sloppy journalism. You've got to stop it. I love Jim Hoft. I love Jim Hoft, Gateway Pundit. He does a lot of great work. He completely screwed up the story. He reported this story. It's still up on his site with an update at the very bottom that he got the story wrong. He fell for a story, a bogus person, saying that they were a postal worker and that they were destroying ballots. Okay? Jim reported that story and it's still up there. I love you, Jim. If you're watching this, I love you. We are too close on this election to screw up like that. And if I, if I screw up like that, I will be the first to come up and apologize to you. This election is too important to make mistakes like that. That is an unforced error. Let me explain the problem here. When a guy like Jim makes a mistake like that, what happens is, and go check Drudge's feed, now Drudge retweets that. Drudge puts out that story. I'm going to say something. you got to hear this. This is going to hurt. You're making us look stupid. You're making conservatives look like idiots. And you're wasting people's time. Because when you post a story like that, people believe you. And hundreds and hundreds or thousands of people retweeted it. How many people retweeted the story that Hillary's doctor, the big black guy who's the doctor, had a pen? That story, go go look at Prison Planet. Go, go look at what, uh, what he said. He p pointed the facts that that wasn't true. I'm going to say this again. you got to hear it. When you make mistakes like that, you make me look stupid. You make everybody out there who's a Trump supporter look like idiots. You're making the left laugh at us. You're giving them material. So the mainstream media, we already know who's against us. The mainstream media against us. The left is against us. The right is against us. Glenn Beck is against us. Paul Ryan is against us. The Bush family is against us. We know why. You can't make these unforced errors. You got three weeks, and I'm going to tell you what happens here. I'm going to let you in on something inside. If you agree with me, retweet this right now. This could be the most important message people need to hear before this election. You've got to vet everything that gets published. You can't trust anybody. Don't trust me. Don't trust anybody. See it for yourself. Double check it before you retweet it. Stop this sloppy BS game. You can't make these mistakes. You just can't. Now listen, people are going to say, oh well, the other side does it. I know. Listen, I used to be on the left. I wrote for Huffington Post. And I did good work there. I'll stand by the stuff I wrote at Huffington Post. When I was at the Huffington Post, I was exposing John Edwards. And I write for Breitbart and I've exposed Republicans. The facts are what matters here. So again, if you agree with me, you got to retweet this. you got to help spread this message. Everybody needs to hear this. Pick your targets. Pick your targets carefully. Make sure you know what you're doing. Again, three weeks to go. You've got to be on your game. You've got to be on your game about the information. We are fighting a huge rigged media, which means you can't screw up one little bit. And if you can't screw up one little bit, you can't screw up one giant bit. Now take what's happening with James O'Keefe and re re retweet this because this is important. James O'Keefe did things the right way. Now, by the way, I'm going to let you in on something. People need to know this. I have a, a story coming in just a few minutes at Breitbart talking about how Fovel, 
Scott Fovel, has been forced to resign. That's a scalp in one day for James O'Keefe. Now, to you, to everybody watching, you think this O'Keefe thing happened in one day. You know what? It was being worked on all weekend for a week now. I heard about this a week ago. Do you know why? Because professional journalists vet things. As a blogger, I can go up on my blog and post anything I want to. But as a news organization, which is what Breitbart is, which is why we have the big platform, which is why we've broken so many stories, things go through lawyers and things go through editors and things go through all these steps. Doesn't mean we're always correct. Doesn't mean we never screw up. Doesn't mean we never make mistakes. I don't, but that's me. But I'm not, on big stories, I, I, I don't. A little fact, sometimes I'll put something through. They'll say, well, vet this, prove that point. What's your point? And I'll tell you, as a writer, it gets frustrating. It's fun to just post anything you want to on Twitter. I get it. You can't play that game. And if you're out there considering yourself a journalist and you're just throwing stuff out there willy-nilly, you're screwing it up for everybody. You're posting bogus stories you've got to stop because it may get you clicks, it may get you hits, it may get you a drudge link, but you're going to screw up this election for everybody. And if your dumb journalist the mistakes, if your mistakes put Hillary in the White House, that's on you. That is on you. I understand. And I, I know, again, I mentioned Jim by name. I love Jim. I really do. Jim does so much great work. That's why it's so disappointing when he gets it wrong and then Drudge picks it up and gets it wrong. But we've got to have better standards than the left. We've got to, we've got to, we've got to. I'm going to say it again. I've said it before, but I'm going to say it again right now. If you care about the truth, if you care about real journalism, retweet this. Let your friends know. Let, the, let them know. Hold them to task. When you see somebody say something that's wrong, I'll tell you another thing. One more thing. I'm going to say one more thing, and then I'm going to end this. I see people tweeting out WikiLeaks stuff, and they're just lying. Here's a how to tell a WikiLeaks tweet by somebody is probably bogus. Number one, it doesn't include a link to the actual WikiLeaks email. I hate that. Number two, it's a screenshot, and they cut off part of it. I've seen about 10 stories that are bogus. If you can't find true things to be disgusted about in WikiLeaks, you suck. Just stop tweeting. I would rather you not spread lies on social media than have you screw this election up for everybody. I may seem passionate about this. You know why? I got six kids. We've had seven. We lost a daughter. I got six kids. I want them to have the future that they deserve. I mean it. And I do this for a living. And I take it seriously. And to see people come along who aren't going to the nth degree to make sure they're getting the facts right. If you can't beat Hillary on facts, to quote Andrew Breitbart, you suck profoundly. Vet, vet, vet. If you see something wrong, if you see something spreading a lie, stop them. Call them on it. You've got to do this. Again, if you agree with me, if you believe that this is the most important election in your lifetime, retweet this right now. Let people know what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little pissed. And again, I'm, I'm pissed with love because I really do. There's lots of people out there who mean well. I know you mean well. I understand you mean well. But get the facts right, okay? Can you do that? Can you get the facts right, please? Can you not spread lies? Just telling the truth about Hillary Clinton is enough to have her lose this election. Okay? We can win this, but let's not have any unforced errors, okay? I, I do love you guys. Okay? Thanks for listening. I t do take this seriously. I know you do too. I know a lot of you out there really take this election seriously. There is no reason to screw this up with bogus reporting. Do you know the only thing you need to know about that accuser who accused Donald Trump of molesting her for 15 minutes on the front of an airplane? That she said 15 minutes. I don't need anything else. Just say to people, do you believe that she sat there for 15 minutes? I may do a video and have someone molest me for 15 minutes just so you can see how long that takes.
I'm not going to do that. That would be a little inappropriate. But I'm serious. I, that story's so bogus. All you need to do is just tell the truth. That's all you need to do is tell the truth about this. Let's win this election. Okay, everybody, love you guys. Bye.